Hello and welcome back to Fundamental STEM and to the last video in this series of how to draw shapes with scratch. If you've watched every single one of the videos, thank you so much. There's an awful lot of work goes into making these videos and I really want to help you guys out and I just love it that you guys are watching the videos and following along. So the last video is going to be a little bit of a surprise for you guys and it's just my way of saying thank you. So uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, we'll code it and then you'll get to see what it is when we actually run it. So you can either just watch this one uh, or you can follow along with me, whatever you normally do yourself. So let's start off as we usually do, get rid of the cat and get our pencil. Let's head into our sprite library here, scroll down to get our pencil. There we go there. And do as we usually do, get rid of the second costume and put the tip of the pencil onto the crosshairs. Then head into the backdrop and pull out our wall backdrop. There we go there. So let's click back into our sprite and into code. Now, I'm not going to go to explain in this one because this one is a bit of a surprise. Uh, but I'll, I'll give you a little bit of an explanation once you get it done. But you guys, if you follow the series, you'll pretty much understand what this is all about. So we'll start off with a when the green flag is clicked. Uh, and then we'll move into some pen uh, blocks. So we need to head into extensions, head into the pen, and here's our pen blocks. Let's start by lifting up the pen, okay? And then we can erase any work that was previously done. Let's set the pen size. So I'm gonna set the pen size to two. And then we're going to set the pen color to 20. Okay, set the pen color. There we are there, and I set the pen color to 20. Okay, pull that up here. Then I'm going to send the uh, pen to the coordinates of an XY of minus 72 and minus 84. Minus 72, okay, for the X, and minus, minus 48. 48 for the Y. Then I'm gonna need a point in direction. And this isn't gonna be like on the other point of directions you've seen me do. This one is going to be 17 degrees. So we're kind of an unusual shape we're drawing here today. Then we need to go back into our pen and put the pen down because we're ready to start drawing. Okay, so the code in the movements part, we're gonna start off with a repeat block and this repeat block is going to say three and inside that repeat block we're going to have yet another repeat block so this repeat block goes inside that one and this one is set to five okay and inside that repeat block we have yet another repeat block and this one is going to be the motions for our sprite to draw it'll be a 10 and inside will be a move block and I'm gonna put in move 20 times 10, so that'll actually be 200. And then the turning will go in there as well. Put the turning on the underneath of this. The turning angle in here is 144. Okay, so all of this can go into the repeat five times block. Okay, so this is moving and turning, and we're doing it five times, but there's a three times repeat of something else, I think we're drawing the shape three times. After this uh, 144 turn, we have a pen up, okay? So we need to go back into our pen. And here we put in a pen up. And then we want to change X by five and change Y by five. Okay, so that'll be in our motions. I'm going to pull out a change X I'm going to pull out a change Y and I'll change the two of those numbers to 5 and a 5 in here and then I can put the pen back down again put the pen back down here we go, put our pen down and then when the whole project is finished I want the pen to lift so we're going to lift up the pen, so pen up and then let's get the pen out of the way Okay, so that'll be a go-to position. So that'll get the sprite out of the way and it'll leave the drawing that we've created 
uh, un uncovered, as it were, so the pen's not in the way. So that's minus 125 in the X and minus 78 in the Y. Okay, so uh, maybe I'll give you an explanation as to how this works later on, but you can pretty much figure it out for yourselves, I suppose. If I, uh, I'll leave a link in the descriptions, as always, to our uh, Scratch uh, page, so where all our projects are and where this project is. And so this one is just a final thank you for watching this series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed making it. Um, again, remember to click like and subscribe. And like when you're in school and you do some really good work, what did the teacher give you? A big gold star for every one of you guys out there. Okay, click like, subscribe, see you in the next one.